Hey, what's up? Matt Wyatt here, taking a look at Mississippi State versus LSU. Uh, a little more than 10 plays, maybe a bonus play or two from this game because we had big plays on offense and defense and special teams. Let's do a little film study. Lots of things stand out in this game for Mississippi State. Mostly blocking them up on offense. Assignment football, 11 guys doing their job more often than not. Physicality on the line of scrimmage. Offensive defensive lineman for State won the game. And number three, flying to the football. Gang tackling, swarming the football on defense. That was pretty impressive. Early first quarter, Aris Williams, wide counter, going to get to the edge. How do they get it done? Well, look at these three defensive linemen for LSU. The way they're going to block it is guard on guard, double team the nose, and then you're depending on Stuart Reese, your right tackle of freshman, to seal up that edge. See if he can get it done. Right away, he's gotten it done on the edge. So what you're going to have is everything's taken care of, no penetration here, and a pulling tackle to come around and lead you around the edge also. But that's the key block from the right tackle. Here's the other thing I want you to notice. These linebackers, look at their movement as Fitzgerald is handing the ball. Why are two guys moving back this way? It's because they are respecting the running ability of the quarterback. So they run themselves back in. You see linebackers stepping this way. Even though at this moment, the play is headed this way. That's because they both are looking at that quarterback. So it helps the run. Again, look at Reese fighting that end, sealing the edge. Now you've got exactly what you want, which is a, an all-SEC tackle getting up to the next level to lead you out there. Here's a great look at the line of scrimmage. Daryl Williams, all-SEC or SEC lineman of the week, one-on-one, -on -one, seals it up backside, double team there to there. Nice job. And that's the key block, seals the edge. Reese gets him around, boom, there's the block by the tackle. All right, one of the big stories in the game was Nick Fitzgerald and his ability to throw the football on third down. He was five for nine throwing the ball on third down plays. So completed five on third down for 92 yards and a touchdown in the game. So here's what we're talking about early in the game, third and five. Notice this, same formation as they ran the counter for the big play. They're going to go same play action here to get a guy open up top. Why do you play fake? Here's why, right there. They are running a zone coverage, a quarter-quarter deep coverage, so they're dropping. His responsibility is flat. This play action, because of the success of the run, holds that defender right there watching the run play, and it's going to help get your receiver open underneath. There's the clear out. Here's your out route for Mixon wide open, and the ball's coming out on time. He throws it a little behind him, but arm strength and velocity allows him to make that catch. Okay, here's an example of how Mississippi State gets tackles. They get a tackle for loss here in a play. First of all, look at all the motion going on. Tackles moving around. They go to ace with a hip tight end. Motion in the receiver. Now they got 10. Now they're going to bring him back and give him the football and a speed sweep. They want him outside. That's why this tight end is trying to reach, thinking, okay, we're going to get him out here. They don't account for a guy that's going to go downhill as fast as he can get there. One of your more underrated players in the game, number 42, Marquis Spencer. Watch him force the issue. And now here's the second thing. You saw this all game. Watch these defenders run to the football. This is Abram. This is Des Harris taking on a blocker. And not even in your screen, this is who you got to watch for. Number 41, Mark McLaurin. Watch him run up off your screen from his safety position. Boom. Shot out of a cannon. Back on offense now. Again, watch the blocking. 11 players doing their job on the same play. This is power. This is going to be Daryl Williams, lineman of the week, leading up in here. He's going to trip up the linebacker. Tight end, one-on-one, fighting out here on the edge. Offensive tackle, Stuart Reese has got Lockature locked up down there to create the lane for the blocker. Look at all the hats on a hat at every level. They're all blocked. You're going to have the pulling guard, Williams, come in here and clip and get the linebacker on the ground. The last thing is the unblocked corner. What's that 
running back going to do? Williams teases him in, gets him inside, and bounces it at the perfect time. All 11 guys doing their job on the same play. Eris Williams was the key to their offense in this ball game. Offensive line absolutely did their job, and they rightfully so collectively as the team were named their players of the week. But Eris Williams' ability to always go forward and rack up those 140-plus yards, never went backward, never gets tackled for loss, read the blocks. I'll show you that in these plays. He was the key, really, that sparked their offense. This is all about Arius Williams, and ironically, they have him pulled up on the screen. He just had that 28-yard run on the play before. He comes right back, not going to get the ball here. Watch him come off the edge and hit the edge defender blocking for his quarterback. Boom. That's the block that gets him to the edge. Not to mention, again, these guys are where they're supposed to be. I want to see that again from Arius Williams. Watch him again off the edge. Here he goes. Seek him, see him, and put your shoulder right in his chest. Knock down block, and it gets Fitzgerald to the edge. Here's an example of a situation in the game where that defensive front makes a big play at the right time. Bulldogs have just taken the lead. There's five minutes left, and they're trying to get a stop to get their ball back for their offense before halftime. And Jeffrey Simmons is going to blow this play up, penetration, and run it down. Motion across, of course. Now, this is going to be zone run with zone blocking this way for Darius Guys, You can see Jeffrey Simmons here. He's going to split them. The thing is, they're moving on too quick because what they don't account for is a nose guard that technically is on the backside having the speed to run your guy down on the front side. But the, also the reason it works, look up top at the penetration and the stick on the by your defensive end. You know, if you rewind that, that's again that guy, 42, Marquis Spencer, coming over. He sees the motion, comes over to balance your formation. And look at him hit that tight end, stand him up. He clogs everything up up here, and you got a chasing nose guard who gets to make the play. Okay, love this play design on the goal line for a touchdown. Bunch them up here, and that's your big tight end who's trying to get up and get out. And he's basically going to kind of clear this out as he runs the guy into the end zone. The play fake. Pulls a guy into your protection and gets you this one-on-one -on -one flat route that you want in the design of the play. Now, he's just flipped his hips, and if he goes ahead and gives it to him now, he probably scores. If you wait and hear, you might even have a chance back there, but I like this decision. Athlete who knows he can run, tuck it, take it in yourself. Back defensively, more than one guy got it done on that front. Here's Braxton Hoyette. They bypass him a bust on their offensive line at a crucial time in the game when you're already down a couple of scores and it's getting late in the third quarter. Watch play side. Going to be a bust. Guard and tackle both go to the next level. Turn him loose and he's free to the ball carrier. Watch it from behind. They don't even touch him. Tackle winds up blocking no one. Here's a play everyone's talking about. The touchdown to Mixon. Bunch them up, same formation as on the goal line, but on the other side, they worked on this all week long to use it once. Look at Mixon. He's stepping in to make it look like run. If he releases right away, they're going to cover him. This guy runs or this guy runs, but because of his delay action, he's in there, and this guy will take his eyes and off the receiver and put it in the backfield. The other thing that's underrated here is the fake. Just a split second now. The uh, linebacker's not fooled. He's got penetration. But because of this fake, that holds here, holds here. It helps to get Mixon open, and at this point, he's gone. They forget about him. Touchdown, and that put it on ice. Let me show you an example of team defense on a defensive front, how it works. Jeffrey Simmons is going to get the tackle on the backside. This is a play where they're trying to pull their center around here and run a power to this side. But the play side defenders are the ones who blow it up. If you look at this, they have just snapped the ball. Handoff's even a long way from happening. And look at Gary Green. 
he's got the offensive tackle a yard and a half off the original line of scrimmage. Not to mention, play side defensive tackle is about to force the issue here. So when the handoff happens on a power, here's your center pulling. Look how far he is away from the original line of scrimmage. And look how far Gary Green is upfield. There's nowhere for this power to go. It's got to be a cutback. And to Jeffrey Simmons' credit, he's killing that right guard and able to get off of him and hit him, as well as Adams, the backside defensive end. And there they are. That's excellent team defense, everybody winning. Okay, here's three plays on the final scoring drive in the fourth quarter. Going to get Arius Williams around the edge once again. Here's where your coaches have done a nice job game planning because they formation two by three, put that tight end over there, and see that they get that leverage for their freshman right tackle. So this play is already blocked because Stuart Reese has knocked Lockature, the defensive end, down inside. Tight end's getting here to the next level, and here comes lineman of the week, Daryl Williams, and the play's coming right behind him. And the last thing is, this is a heady move here by the tailback, Williams. If he's bound and determined to go outside, this guy blows him up. But he sees the defender, sets up the block, and now he's gone back vertical. A couple of plays later, same possession. This time, going to zone it this way and read it back here for Nick Fitzgerald. On the snap, his eyes are here. Defensive end took two steps this way, so Fitz is going to keep the football, and he's off and running. And here's the very next play with the ball on the left hash. Heck of a play call. They show run. They show run. He puts it in his arm to show like he's running that quarterback sweep. And Dedrick Thomas, a little bit of a stutter right here, and it freezes the defensive back. And now he's open. The key is the blocking and Fitzgerald. That ball in his arm to show run so they can see it. They freeze, and now he's wide open. Great play call. All right, thanks for watching. If you like this, would you do me a favor? Follow my Facebook page here. Maybe share it with your friends because I'm posting new stuff pretty much every day here on the Facebook page. And also look me up on Instagram and Twitter. Follow me there. I am Radio Wyatt. See you next time.